So uh, I've done a few more sandings and now just finishing with the wire wool. It's giving it a uh, lovely sheen. This is a uh, nice, nice coloration. Um, literally just giving it final, final rub. And uh, any any slight abrasions that are still in, there are some fine little fine marks here that will, when we wax that, that uh, that will cover those up. But this um, wire wool finish always gives it such a beautiful sheen. It's amazing how. Nice, it gives the finish. That's it, that's it, that's, that's probably as good as it's gonna get. Can't get much better. It's like glass. That's, that's this, the feel. I mean, it's literally as smooth as it can be. Okay, so we'll uh, get my uh, waxing gloves on. Holes included. of choice is the uh, black bison this is uh, lovely clear it smells gorgeous it smells like uh, bees wax which I suppose is exactly what it is um, nice yellow as this goes on it it darkens up initially it uh, also fills up, you get a few fine lines of, of cracking that are uh, impossible to get rid of. But these, they just disappear under the wax. The wax will just uh, fill those in nicely. What I'd normally do with this is uh, give it a couple of, give it a coating, let it dry, polish it, and then give it a, another final coating. And a good one of the good things about using the glue and sawdust mixture is it actually makes when you sand the sand it down you're always going to get a little bit of glue remaining, but with the mixture of the sawdust and the glue it actually makes the glue porous, which otherwise it would literally just be like a plastic finish that you can't put wax on, whereas with the, uh, the adding the sawdust. The wax will actually absorb in, uh, so it almost makes it invisible. That's beautiful. A couple of small minor abrasions there, they'll just cover up nicely. That's beautiful. And then uh, into the nice recess. Again, this has been this quite smooth. Sometimes you'll get little holes that you can't really fill in, but obviously with the glue and the sawdust, it it's easy to fill those up. And then again, it will the wax absorbs in really nicely. Okay, so that's the first first coating. And that's uh, yeah, that big uh, sp split in the wood is covered up really nicely. Okay. So just finishing the final polishing 
giving it a couple of waxings, polishing in between and a little bit of extra sanding at one point just to give it that extra fine finish. Any blemishes wanted to remove. Uh, so basically, there we go. So we've got the, uh, the nice sheen all across the surface. And as you can see, the uh, we've covered up. There's the crack that that was covered, and down the side, obviously we've made it almost invisible. You wouldn't know it was there unless you actually knew where it was. Um, obviously underneath, really polished, and that's it. And one final check. I always like just to check that it's fully, yeah, ready for the, the trefoil so that there's no movement. Yeah, that would be perfect.